Today we're taking a look at the Snowgo Ski Bike, so stick around. So as you can see, it's basically a cross between a mountain bike and skiing because you've got the handlebars, you've got a frame like you would on a bike, uh, but then you have skis attached uh, instead of wheels, obviously. And uh, they put a lot of engineering and innovation into this, uh, into this ski bike. And it, as an engineer myself, I'm really, really impressed with some of the things they've done. So let's walk through some of these things so you can get a closer look at what this is and how it works and uh, then we'll do a part two of this video where I'll take it up to the mountains, uh, to, to Keystone, and we'll see what it's like out on the slopes. I've never done this before, so I'm really looking forward to it. The first thing uh, that I'm, I'll, I'll just start from the top down and, and give you a, an overview of everything. So as you can see, it's got standard uh, uh, bicycle mountain bike handlebars. We got standard grips on here. These use a typical mounting system for your grips. There's a, essentially a clamp here and an Allen head key right in here. So you can change out the grips really easily and all of that kind of stuff. Where they uh, got a little bit interesting uh, with this, and this may be true with mountain bikes as, as well. As, I don't know, I'm, I'm not a mountain bike guy. Uh, as you know, I ride dirt bikes, but uh, what they did with the uh, gooseneck or the stem as they call it uh, is that they've made it adjustable and I'll give you a close up here on this in just a second but you got a, a standard sort of a bar clamp model up top with you got four allen keys up top so you can uh, change those bars out you know as you wish but this head right here actually pivots so that's the stem can tilt all the way forward or you can bring it straight up now this gives you a lot of tunability in, uh, for different size riders. So if you're a taller rider with longer arms and you want the bars further out, you can rotate that stem all the way down and then uh, put the bars coming up. And that'll give you a, a little bit more uh, reach on the, the handlebars. Uh, if you're a shorter person with shorter arms, then obviously you can rotate that up. And you can rotate it there's basically anywhere between uh, that that hor horizontal uh, to a to a vertical point, so you can have it really uh, dial it in for that. Then, uh, as we work our way down, the next thing you'll notice then is it's got shocks on the the front. These are mountain bike forks, and so these are air uh, air shocks. So you can uh, and they they operate exactly like they would on a on a mountain bike. So you can lock them in place. You can open them up. On the other side, there is a valve, and it's essentially a bice, or, you know, like an inner tube valve that you can either put more in it or less air in it and um, uh, adjust the, uh, the, the softness of those shocks. These are rock shock forks. They do have a newer model that uh, offers the, uh, an upgraded fork option with Fox uh, forks on it. So that's, uh, that's, that's really nice because that allows you to, to soak up a lot of the, the bumps with that shock on the front. As we come down, then we've got the front ski mount. This is a custom ski mount that, I, that they designed, and um, that gives you a lot of, of articulation and motion on there. Uh, it's got a traditional ski on there, so metal edges, wood core, all of that sort of thing. Then on the back side here, and I'll show you this up close here as well, they've got a coilover shock down here that uh, that keeps that, that uh, front ski uh, in the right orientation when you're getting on and off the lifts but it also articulates as well so that way as you go over moguls and bumps and stuff like that you can maintain contact with the ground so let me show you that so as I lift this up you'll see the shock pushes that that ski down so it, it raises that front up so that's great safety feature when you're getting off a lift but it also allows you to rotate or, or it also articulates so that you can always stay in contact. So that's that's a, a really, really nice design. I like that. The other thing they did on the front end then is there's a little uh, knob here, a screw, uh, so you can quickly remove this front ski by just 
undoing this this uh, threaded knob here and now to, now you can slide that front ski off so if you're transporting it in the trunk of your car or, or something like that you can uh, reduce that profile make it a little bit smaller lay a little bit flatter in your in your trunk or in the back of your car so uh, that's a really nice uh, feature that they put in there for transportation as we work our way back then you'll see there's this bar right here this is their easy load system and to me this is this is a really cool uh, innovation that they've done because it makes it very very easy to get this bike on and off the lift so essentially what happens is as your as the as a chair comes around and underneath it grabs it hooks right underneath this this easy load system and then uh, you just sit down with the bike straddling between your your legs and it picks the whole bike up so you don't have to get in some sort of awkward position and hold on to everything it's uh uh, it, it just sits there, right there on the chair. So uh, really slick uh, design for that as well. The other thing that they've done then is they balance the weight of the bike as well. So um, it's, it's a, it very evenly balanced so that as, this, as the lift picks it up, it's not gonna be front heavy and, and wanna pull down. It's not gonna be wanna back heavy and have that whole handlebars come back and smack you in the face or anything like that. It's really, really well balanced. So, as I lift this up, you'll see the chair comes in here and grabs it. Everything just uh, lifts up nice and evenly. So really good weight distribution in the design as well. So uh, a lot of a lot of thought went into making sure that this is uh, really safe on the slopes. Then as we work our way back, you can see we've got a couple of skis here attached on the backside and uh, they built in a lot of articulation. Again, really, really cool engineering that went into this because each of these skis is able to articulate. So as you go over uneven terrain, each ski is, uh, is like an independent suspension. And so, for example, I can lift this side up, I can lift this side up, and uh, that gives it a lot of, uh, so that your skis are always in contact with the snow. The other thing that allows you to do is as you're turning then you can lean the bike and the edges will dig in and give you that nice carving turn like you're like you're carving on skis so that is uh, a lot of really really cool uh, uh, design work went into this so I'm really really impressed with all of that then as we take it a little bit further again from a transportation perspective again they thought this through this is a, this is what's really cool so i got the center axle pin here i can i can undo this just like i would the front ski and i can pull this axle pin out and then this whole rear assembly uh disconnects so there's another the pin holding it in here in the back and then one in the front so i can pull these pins out and this whole rear piece detaches and so now you can basically get this this frame down to where it's just the frame and the bars so it's really easy to transport so just to kind of show you what that looks like as i undo this pull that off here like this get my thumb into there where i can grab it That comes out, this back one comes undone, like that. And so now I can pop this whole assembly off and now it's really easy to transport. So they, they've thought about all of these sorts of, of things to make this uh, you know, incredibly versatile in getting it to and from as well as giving you a lot of control on the slopes because you can dig those edges in and everything. And then to put this back together, I can come right in and then slide that right in there. And slide this back bolt on right just like that. Put the pin back in. I can put this axle bolt through. Now, what they've also done is, again, they've built a lot of articulation into this. 
So this, for example, I can lift that hole up and I've got a nice pivot point right here so that as I'm going uh, over rough terrain and stuff like that, I've got uh, essentially uh, six articulation points here on the front. So I got two on this side, two on this side, plus two here. That gives me that leaning motion. And then I've got two more on the back. So they've really uh, uh, designed this well. And I said the other thing that I like about the weight distribution is that as the ski lift uh, picks this up, these front skis also come up. And so as you go to exit the, the chair lift, you don't have to worry about the nose of the skis digging into that exit ramp and you know causing a problem. So everything, it just raises the tips up just like you would as you're getting off a, off a chair lift. So uh, a lot of really cool work in, went into this. It is intended to be used with a belt system here that, that you wear around your waist and then it's attached to a leash. So that way, if you fall uh, off the bike for whatever reason, the bike doesn't just shoot on down the mountain. Uh, so, and most resorts are gonna require that. You can see that the belt is attached with a carabiner here. And then there's also a ring, kind of like a key ring, and uh, that attaches a leash. And this key ring has about a 70 pound braking strength. So that way, if you're like barreling down the mountain really fast um, and you fall off, you know, you don't want to, you know, get dragged down the mountain with it. So that'll that'll break at about 70 pounds, but it'll also pull the bike over so it doesn't continue down the mountain by, by itself. So no missiles down the mountain. Another thing that I find uh, particularly interesting about uh, the snow go is the quality of the construction. If you look at these welds, they're just really, really tight. Now that could be uh, you know, they're using a machine, a robotic machine to do the welds, or they've got a master welder on staff, but uh, the construction quality is really tight through here. If you look at the control arms, again, really uh, tight machining, uh, really high quality. It looks like, uh, I, I don't feel any sort of seams from any casting or anything, so it looks like it's milled again out of a, a, a solid billet, uh, which you know, kind of everything about this thing is just really, really tight. Okay, so that's a detailed overview of the uh, Snow Go ski bike. Uh, stay tuned for part two when we're going to take it up onto the mountain at uh, Keystone here in Colorado uh, and spend a day on it and see how we do. I've actually already set it up with some GoPro, so I'll get some ride footage of that as well. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what it's like to be on this thing as an old-time skier like myself and uh, give, you a, give you an idea of, of how fun it is. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And we'll see you next time here on Rough Riders. Thanks for watching.